If someone rolls up their sleeves, that's kind of a red flag. I don't know. It means they're not, they're not feeling comfortable in their clothes. Either that or they're in two fisting, mm -hmm. which would also be a red flag. Literally. Oh, they would no. literally be oh, doing okay. a red flag. Everybody give daddy a hand. <laughs> give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Sorry. Gay clap. Gay clap. Roll the opening. <laughs> Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we are looking for flags. <laughs> like if they're waving one, that's a red flag. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's a very obvious one. Wow, your flag has some serious. Ooh, it's because it's, it's, it's my crop. <laughs> oh, today we are covering red flags in a kinky sense or relationship. We're just in the scene itself. Now, Daddy, what is a red flag? Red flags are warning signs in a new relationship or playing with someone that pop up and sometimes we ignore because we like them so much, but you really shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and actually it was this trend on Twitter where people were like posting red flag threads where people commented what a red flag was for a specific thing. And today we're gonna cover red flags you guys commented on my post asking for kink specific red flags. Like if someone wants to fist you and their nails are jagged, Ooh. that's a red flag. Ooh. Nip that in the butt, well not butt, I guess the nail, but file that away as a red flag. But today's episode is sponsored by Surfshark because they're gonna let you research your own red flags, hopefully, and make sure that no one else can see what you've been looking into. And the first one comes from Sir Exhausted is Too Many Syllables Steal. <laughs> that's a red flag that's, right that's, there. That's <laughs> if your surf's already exhausted just typing out well, their that's name. That's their name. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and King Steel says, I don't like puns. Red flag, get out. They're not allowed inside. That is- Wait, wait, wait. Let's, not be, most too, no, let's no. not be too quick about that. Okay, go ahead. What, why is that not a red flag then? Because I don't like puns. <laughs> red flag, red flag. <laughs> if you don't have humor in the bedroom, then you're not having They're fun. They're not funny. <laughs> it's not humor. The next one, because that first one didn't count, comes from Mode of the Pup, who says, definitely this symbol. That's the biohazard symbol. Yeah, and I think that this is a red flag when people use it because sometimes, not always, but sometimes it's used to stigmatize those with HIV. Yeah, but I've seen people use it to destigmatize people with HIV. I don't think it would be a red flag in that case. It's a red flag depending on how someone uses it because personally, like you, Daddy, I actually had a partner and was one of my first partners who taught me what HIV and AIDS and PrEP was who had that on the back of their, their back. I've seen lots of people tattoo it to own it. In fact, the first date that I went on with that said partner, we, we got, you know, nice and cuddly on the couch. We didn't even have sex, but as we were kind of getting our clothes off, I saw that tattoo and I was just like, what does that mean? Like, can you, can you tell me about that? And that's where we had the conversation about HIV prep. He was untransmittable because he was on his cocktail. And so he had his HIV viral load under control. And it actually turned into a really good learning experience. But I have seen people talk negatively and be actively trying to contract the virus as well. And we shouldn't be fetishizing someone for something that they can't technically control, especially when it's an STD that is controllable now, that we can we can get someone down to that zero viral load. So while that can be a red flag, it does, I think, personally, fully depend on how it's used, because I think it can be a really good learning experience. Okay. As it was for me. Okay. So there was a whole thread. Again, there was over 150 responses. So there okay. was a lot of flags. Okay. There was a lot of flags. And a lot of them actually came down to the first communications that you get from someone. So Digger says, when somebody messages you and says, I want to own you 24-7. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> First of all, that is a lot of fucking work. <laughs> I mean, that's a great fantasy, but to really own someone 20, who's feeding you? Who's earning the income? It's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, that's a red flag. I get that a lot as well. People wanting to serve me for the weekend. And I'm like, are you serving me or am I just taking care of you? And within that same vein, Nita Nemo says, sending a dick pic for the first interaction and calling you slave. All of the people who commented in the thread with like a first interaction sort of tweet, I totally understand as a red flag. How you start a communication with someone, be it on a kink dating app or social media or not, is so important. And if you start out by calling someone something like a slave or boy, and you don't have that respect between you two, like that's real gross. I had someone on recon yesterday who started it off uh, looking good dog, 
And I'm like, I'm not a dog. Nowhere, <laughs> nowhere have I ever been a dog. Why would you, and I've never talked to you before. But also, don't just send unsolicited dick pics, y'all. I get it, we're all looking for sex on some of these apps, but like, I'm so much more respecting and want to have a conversation with someone who starts out with, hi, how are you doing? Or, hey, I really like this insert detail that you put in your profile. You know, it really starts a conversation better. It's the whole shots for me. I don't mind dick pics so much, but don't send, I'm not a proctologist. Do not send me a pic. Red flag. <laughs> red flag. So. No whole shots. No, no, my, my red flag that is relevant to this. Literally yesterday, someone messages me and says, hey, my boyfriend caught me jerking off the other day and he said that I have to wear a chastity device. What is your opinion since you do that YouTube thing? And I'm just like, <laughs> I am not here to give you therapy on your masturbation practices, okay? Lock it down. Next red flag. Oh my God, okay. Red flags is doms that don't have perception. I did not hit you. Depth. you I did not hit you. Did. That, I felt it. Oh. I know, that's how good I am. <laughs> And somebody named Surfshark says, Red Flag is not having a VPN. Now a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network, it's what you turn on your computer to make sure that your internet is anonymous and that you're not getting any weird ads, no one can get a hold of your data. Yeah, why would you not have a VPN? Well, some people don't realize that your data is easily accessible when you log on to things like hotels or coffee shops. And with travel season upon us, we've been traveling like wild. Without my own VPN, with Surfshark VPN, my data is very, very unsafe. So susceptible. Susceptible? Susceptible? Susceptible. So and actually, it helps you get around geoblocks on some of your favorite websites. Like say you get that cannot watch video in your current area on YouTube, you can use a VPN and spoof your location to the UK. Or maybe Canada. What's that a boo? That's how I was watching some of my favorite drag race seasons, including All Star 6, by just spoofing my location and using my Netflix account that I was already paying for. You can get your own deal at Surfshark. Check out the link down below and use offer code WATTS. For 83% off and four months for free in November and December when you get a deal with them right now. Why not get two years worth? It's affordable, it's accessible, and it protects you and all of your data. Whether that's your surfing on the internet, whether that's sending nudes to people on dating apps, and also lets you get around those geolocations for all your favorite shows during the holidays. That sounds like a great holiday idea. Season's beatings. Yeah. And season's greetings. Season's fleetings when you clean out. <laughs> Fleeting. No. Oh, season's fleetings. No. Links down below. <laughs> Thank you, Surfshark, for sponsoring today's episode. Now back to the red flags. Ooh, and then there was this whole category of either misunderstanding terminology or just choosing very bad terminology. The first one from The Panda Actually says, they say CNC means no safe words. Consensual non-consent means no safe words. Yeah. No, that's no. the perfect time to have a safe word. That <laughs> is the time yes. to have a safe word because otherwise you don't know. <laughs> So we get questions all that the time. Is, that's a huge red flag. All the time. That's when you need that safe word is when you're doing CNC. Now consensual non-consent is something people ask us to cover all the time and this seems like a very appropriate part to explain it. It's where you are consenting to doing something that is a bit more edge play. -y. Like kidnap scenes. It's like ta being taken against your will. So you're like, no, no, yeah. don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Wait, am I stopping or am I not stopping? Exactly, that's not. why you need a safe word. <laughs> this varsity level kink. If I say red, y'all should stop. stop. If I say green, y'all should go. If I say yellow. Everyone piss. Oh. Huh. <laughs> that one was a good red flag, absolutely. It gets it's closer scary. and closer, yeah. <laughs> Put it down, red flag. Dogs that don't know how to swing the impact tools. I have not hit you once. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> and then as far as terminology goes, uh, tea bags and joysticks says, when they don't, did you like that? But tea bags and joysticks. They say, when they don't know what SSC or RAT is, or tell you you're wasting your time because you ask questions about safety and limits. Woo! Okay. Wait. That's a lot to unpack. That's a lot to unpack. So first of all, absolutely, that's a red flag if they say you're wasting your time talking about communication over a scene. Yeah. Not knowing what SSC and RAC is may or may not, that might be the time to educate. If they're not wanting to be educated on it, that's a red flag. But educating them on it, it it's a perfect opportunity. No, I agree. I think that not knowing SSC, which stands for... Safe since... It <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Sensational kink. 
<laughs> Safe, sane, consensual. Correct. Or RAT, which is risk aware consensual kink, not knowing the differences there or the acronyms is not a huge red flag because they might practice one of those two things. They just don't know what an acronym is. Sure. And safe, sane, and consensual is just saying, you know, you're safe, you're sane, and you're consensual, so you're good to play with. Whereas RAC is kind of somewhat different than that, where you're risk aware of everything that's happening. You are conscious of not everything is going to be safe, and you can't practice kink safely all the time, but you can always practice it safer. Does that make sense? Yeah, but you're aware of the risk that something could happen. There's no such thing as 100% safe sex. There are just safer ways that we can make sure we're being okay. If you climb a tall ladder to hang a picture, there is the risk you will fall. Most likely you won't if you're careful. What is SSC again? <laughs> safe, sensational kink. No! And while first communications are a very big red flag if you don't properly handle that, also insecurities that people put on you through their communications. In fact, Bandana Hawk says in their tweet, doms who feel threatened by other doms or are unwilling to try things that they're doing to subs. Thoughts? Y yes, I can see that. I can see where sometimes doms get a little possessive when they see their subs playing with other doms. I think that that comes from a place of an insecurity though, and maybe even some jealousy where there's bad communication. So that's a red flag if you're in a relationship with someone and they're not able to deal with that. But then the other part to that, Bandana Hawk says, is doms who are unwilling to try something they're doing to subs. And I know you you feel a different way. For me, I'm always gonna be more trusting of someone who has gone through the paces. <sighs> no, I think there are doms who don't ever wanna get fucked. They, they just know they don't want to, so they don't wanna try it. Um, it's but, like half a flag. But they enjoy it's fucking like others. Half. Where like, I, if you're having that communication around it and you're like, hey, why don't you, why do you wanna do this? If like they have a reason or maybe they just don't have the capacity to bottom or it's too painful, I, I would understand that. Are they good at doing it to the sub? Good question. There are no follow-up questions then here. Who, there are no follow-up questions. Who cares? <laughs> but an insecurity that rears its ugly head in your rear is a red flag. Don't you put your head down right I'm now. Not not my head. Face in my I'm head. a dom who will not try that. <laughs> Wait, you're not gonna rim me? There was plenty around aftercare. In fact, one by Ashley's Paradigm says, aftercare isn't necessary. I didn't even hurt you. Um. Well, no. <laughs> a lot of thoughts there. <laughs> Sorry, they all went in my head like this. No, no that's a red flag. <laughs> a lot of people even talked about like doms who don't have an aftercare routine. Something that you should always talk about is aftercare or what you do after the sex and the energy that brings you back down from that high. At the very least, a you hug. should have a hug. Yeah, a hug, some snacks, cuddles. Aftercare is no snacks always me. important, even if you don't hurt someone. Aftercare is nice to have. And necessary. necessary. Yeah, ne necessary. Unless you don't want to play with them again. No, nope, red flag. <laughs> it's a red flag. Aftercare, you need it. Wolverine says, when they say P and P, this is another educational instance, because I don't know that everyone always knows what P and P means. Yeah, I didn't know what it was for a long time, but it's party and play. That means they are doing drugs and having sex. Whenever you see PNP, it usually means harder drugs, which is not okay. You should never be in a super, super altered or inebriated state when getting into especially kink because you are doing things that require waving stuff around and you might hurt not only the person you're doing stuff to, but yourself. And if you're in an altered state, that gets real messy real quick. However, devil's advocate, at least they put that in your profile so you know to avoid them. If they were hiding that fact from me and I hooked up, I would be pissed. And no, it's not okay, yeah. but at least they're being honest about it. I will give them points for honesty. That's um, all I'm saying. I mean, that, sure. Okay. <laughs> but at least they warned you ahead Sorry, of right that. <laughs> The next red flag from Frank Elias Audi says, has literally not gained any respect and wants to use an honorific. Yeah, so like, sir, or sir. <laughs> <laughs> or master, <laughs> or some title. Or madam, or something that requires a little bit of talking. It would be like if I called you daddy without saying, hey, what can I call you? And negotiating. It can be a little jarring first and foremost, but also some of those titles and words especially have power. Yeah, and I've fallen into this trap myself once in a while because I do tend to just call everyone boy. Ooh. Um, so I, I've fallen into trouble doing that and now I've learned and I, I, I learned I could have had a red flag and now I no longer do that. 
Put your flag down. <laughs> Some of those terms can be triggering too. Not just a red flag, but if someone calls you a word that you don't agree with, or maybe doesn't agree with how you identify, calling someone boy if they're not a boy is very triggering. So stay away from some of them words. Talk first. Alexa, can I call you daddy? That's not a name I can respond to. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> and then a lot of the most favorited tweets in this thread had to do with limits. One that really stuck out to me was from AJ who says, do your limits change much when you get drunk? Yes. I mean, most people's inhibitions go down when they get drunk. No, but that's a red flag if someone's asking you that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I love your honesty sometimes, and you are correct in that alcohol can change your inhibitions, but if someone is asking that... Why would they ask that? Everyone knows that. <laughs> you, I, you, that's a red flag just because they're stupid. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> but also very inappropriate to ask or even insist because that insists that they want to take advantage of you and your limits. And True. again, limits are... Do you want, do you want to... Hard. There are hard limits and soft limits. Three. Limits are something that you put in place that is a, an off-limit sort of thing that you're not into. For me, it's like fisting, blood, uh, poop. And that's that's pretty much my, my big limits list. Again, someone asking that outright is very concerning. <laughs> or from Magnus and an American Kingster in London, pretty much say, no limits being something someone says. Well, first of all, that is a lie. <laughs> so definitely a red flag, because I guarantee you I'll find your limit. The limit does not exist. I'll tie you up. <laughs> I will put It's a Small World After All for two hours. I'll make sure you can't get out of that bondage and then you will have limits. Yeah. Yeah, the no limits thing, not true. Have you ever played with someone who said that? No, because it was a red flag. Yeah, I'm like, that's I'm like that's no, that's you don't know what you're doing. But I do get why some people do say that because they're trying to be submissive and say they'll do anything that the Dom will do. And that is still a red flag in my opinion because no, it means absolutely. that they don't have a standard or they don't have their own safety net in place, which is scary because I don't want to play with someone who doesn't have I don't, their like sense of self. And while everyone kind of fell under one of those categories, I really liked this one because I hated it so much. It comes from For the Love of Citrus who says, I just give my toys a quick water rinse and, and then they're fine. A quick what? Water rinse. They just rinse their toys oh, with water. Oh, oh. I, I was like, is that a Hufflepuff stuff? Like, <laughs> what? Is that? I don't know, water rinse. I don't know, Gryffindor? I don't know. What's a water rinse? Water is Reparo. <laughs> 10 million points for Gryffindor. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to clean your toys. Clean your toys, especially if you're using them with others. Regardless of what bodily fluids get on it or not, like, you don't know where that toy's been sitting or you don't know what got on it. Like, again, poop's one of my limits. I don't want poop on things that are about to touch me. No poop. Okay. No poop. Stop poop shaming. Not poop shaming. That's just one of my limits. You're gonna Stop. be, you're gonna be unpopular. That was a shitty joke. And those were the, those were the big ones that stood out in that, that thread. But I'm curious, Daddy, do you have any red flags that kind of pop up? My biggest red flag, which will make me move on immediately, is someone who contacts me and says, I want to serve you all weekend long. Oh, that's a lot I of just, work. I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I don't energy. have the energy. No. Who's picking you up from the airport? The logistics of that? Who's feeding you? I, it's not gonna be me. <laughs> One that really sticks out for me personally that I've kind of had to put my foot down is when people don't have references or are not able to share pictures. That's just a downer for me, but also makes me think you might be a catfish. Ooh, pictures, that's a big one. A big red flag for me is if you have an upside down or sideways picture in your profile. Or <laughs> what about when they have the picture and it was like from a, a digital camera back in like the 90s. Yeah, no, 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 no. Those, that those clearly really is... super fuzzy or half <laughs> half an, an eye obscured by a peacock feather. Wait, <laughs> just <what>? like... <laughs> Or again, just people that don't have references. Right. I am very much in my own head of, of trusting someone. If I cannot see that you've played with other people, or if you do not have other people that are enthusiastically like, yeah, they're great. They have safety things in place. They love aftercare. They respect limits. Well, you've been catfished before, so I totally understand this. Yeah, more than once. And while that's left a bad taste in my mouth, I'm gonna continue to use that experience to share with others of like protecting yourself first and foremost. You never wanna put a bunch of energy into something or someone or an interaction and possible play date and then have them either flake, no show, 
Or, worst of all, they show up and they look nothing like any of the pictures they said That's or provide red flag. any experiences. That is so, so disheartening and frustrating. Have you ever had that happen? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Wee woo, wee red woo, flag. wee woo. Oh. Obviously, last but not least, people they don't have safe words. And today's safe word is red. <laughs> oh, that's a flag. Good that's well, <laughs> both of those are yeah. red. Red is a great safe red word. Red is good. that means stop. It, it, all around the board, everyone knows or what fist. red means. Well, red, a red not to be confused with a red flag when they're flagging for red, which is fisting. But beyond red flags or flagging red. What can they do, Daddy, now that the episode's over? You can definitely subscribe to our channel. You can ring that bell. Or you can leave a comment down below. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye! And hey, maybe they want to wear some red this season. We, we, got our, we got our sale going right now for the holidays. Go check it out. We got safewordshop.com. We got sweatshirts. We got shirts. We got fun tanks and tops that you can put in all sorts of stocking stuffers if you're flagging red especially. I may regret asking this question. Uh -huh. Have I ever shown you any red flags? Hmm. You don't like texting. And sometimes Why that is, is that a red, a red flag? flag? Because it's the easiest way to communicate. No, it is the most misunderstood way of communicating. Okay. That's why I prefer the phone call. Yeah, but even then, uh, you you call, you butt dial me five times a day and then when I call you, you don't answer. That's because it's in my butt. Red flag, well, <laughs> take it out of your butt, okay? <laughs> How about me though? Do I give you any red flags? That red flag. Oh, puns. That, no, okay, <laughs> episode's over, episode's puns. over. Nope, cut it. You're too funny.